Hi, this is Dmitry. Today I wanted to talk to you about the Kipon Micro Four Thirds to Canon EF version 2 adapter. I was looking for information about this ad adapter myself but couldn't find anything and the information that I was able to find was confusing. So I decided to purchase that adapter myself and um, try it on my Canon lenses uh, with my uh, Olympus EM1 camera. Um, the information is not only confusing online, the information is actually incorrect at a lot of places that sell that particular adapter. If you look at a Dorama site or Amazon site that sells through a Dorama, um, you will notice that the photographs that they have there um, are mixed photographs of version 1 of that adapter and then some photographs of version 2 of that adapter. Uh, I'm going to show you those in a second. Uh, but here's the adapter itself. Uh, it comes in a little box. Keep on announce version 2 of its Canon EF to Micro Four Third adapter in February of 2017. Before that they had version 1 which I've never owned so I can't talk about it. But this is version 2. As you can see, uh, it's depicted right here in the lower left corner. This is version number two. This is it right here. Now, if you look at uh, various sites that sell those adapters, for example, Adorama, where I bought it from, uh, you can see that the photograph is of something that is completely different. Um, this is actually a photograph of uh, uh, either version 1 of that adapter or some other adapter. But this is not the adapter that you will get if you order one. Uh, this photograph right here is also an uh, incorrect adapter. Now the third photograph, ironically, is of the correct adapter. Um, as you can see, uh, the new adapter does not have tripod mount. The old adapter had it and then they just decided to remove it in a new one. Um, Amazon, which sell through Adorama, also has uh, photographs of the incorrect adapter, as you can see. I will test a new adapter on the only Micro Four Third camera that I have, which is the EM1 Mark One right here. Um, so I will test it with the Canon lenses, Canon mount lenses that I have right now. Uh, and those lenses are uh, 17 to 40 L, 24 to 105 L version 1, 50 1.8 STM, 40 2.8 STM, The 85 12L version 1. This is going to be interesting. 1.285. Micro Four Third doesn't have an equivalent lens. The closest thing to it is the 75 1.8, but that's 1.8. If this is 1.2, version 1, not 2. Let's see if autofocus works. Uh, the other two lenses I have are. 70 to 200, 2.8, non-IS, L, and finally, Sigma, 150 to 600, contemporary, Canon mount, uh, this should be interesting, uh, equivalent of 1200 millimeters on my Olympus EM1, let's see if autofocus works, I'll take those lenses out, and I'll take a few shots, and we'll see if it works. Outside testing the new Kipon adapter. Uh, look right here. We're gonna start with 17 to 40 17 lens. to 40 L, single out of focus mode. No problems. Let's try continuous out of focus. And as with any other lens, continuous out of focus. It, is, it struggles and it doesn't work.
Right now we're gonna try 42.8 STM. Single out of focus. No problem. Now before I forget to tell you, I am testing everything wide open. Single out of focus mode. No problems, very fast out of focus. Test continuous out of focus with 51.8 STM. As the same thing as with the 40, as you can see, continuous out of focus doesn't. I'm gonna try 24 to 105 L. At 24 and 105. At 24. No problems in 24, now at 105. Wide open. No problems. Now let's try continuous out of focus. Continuous out of focus, it's 105. The camera is struggling, but it actually is working better than with all the other lenses I tried so far. But it's basically rocking back and forth and never finds focus. So continuous out of focus so far with all the lenses I've tried. And now 85 1.2, 85L at 1.2. Uh, let's see if this really old lens uh, would work with this adapter. Single out of focus mode. That lens is struggling. Let me try again. It's very slow, but it eventually finds focus. Not so fast, but it is working. You just have to give it some time. But it works not perfect. So every other time it focuses, but not 100%. I would say this one so far is the worst focusing lens with that adapter. And now 70-200L, 2.8 non-IS version. Let's try single other focus mode first. No problems, very fast. Let's see if continuous on focus works at all. Continuous on focus, same story as with other lenses. Basically unused. With the Sigma 150 to 600 uh, contemporary on my Olympus. So this is right now an effective 1200 millimeters. And let's see if we can take a picture of a bird, which is really, really far. Uh, you're gonna see how far it is in a second. Right now I'm at 600 millimeters, and let's see if we, I can take a picture of her with single autofocus. No problems. Quick and easy. Now let's try and continue so the focus. Still goes back and forth without stopping. So single out of focus surprisingly works well even at the tally end at 600 millimeters equivalent. After testing this adapter with uh, 10 Canon mount lenses, uh, I came to the following conclusion. With respect to single autofocus on my Olympus EM1 Mark I, 9 out of 10 lenses, the autofocus was fine, no problems whatsoever. Every lens, with an exception of 85L Mark I, worked fine. Uh, autofocus was perfect. In terms of 85L, I got about 25 to 30 percent shots in focus, but most of my shots were not in focus. Uh, in terms of continuous out of focus, uh, this adapter does not work well. None of the 10 lenses that I've tested it with worked really. So, in conclusion, if you want to get this adapter, you have a lot of Canon lenses and you want to shoot 
uh, portraits or things that you can use single autofocus for. Uh, you can do it and there's no problems. It works fine. Um, I think it's well worth the $285 uh, that keep on wants. Uh, I'll leave the link uh, at the bottom of my video as to where you can buy this adapter. Uh, I'm going to keep it and enjoy using my Canon lenses on my Olympus M1. Questions, leave comments and I'll answer them pretty quickly. Thank you.